Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. And today, what I thought I would show you is how to make a, uh, I'm going to call this a fancy, well, it's a fancy fold card um, envelope front fold. I'm not sure that that's the name. I, I often get the names of these fancy folds wrong, but that's what I'm calling it. And I got this idea from uh, a friend of mine, uh, Lorraine Tierney, uh, that she made one of these cards on our recent, uh, our um, be, uh, as Creativity Abounds um, event that I was on. And I just loved the loved it. And so I have, um, I have made one using the Flowering Tulips bundle uh, which is a bundle in the current mini catalog. All right, I'm going to switch over to my desktop and let's get started. Now, first of all, um, I'll show you the bundle. And then um, the other thing that you should remember is I'm going to give you all will be on my blog. And my, the link to my blog um, is underneath this video. So if you miss any of the measurements as you're going through, you'll be able to get them on in the instructions on my blog post. Um, or if you have questions, just leave a comment on this video. Or if you're over on my blog, leave a comment there. I'm happy to help you. Okay, so first of all, this is the, the bundle. It comes with um, the stamp set and the dies. And I know I've showed this before. I love this stamp set um, because of the sentiments, um, especially this one. I'm using this one, this round sentiment with the thank you today. But it's, it's happy birthday, thinking of you. It's great. Happy Mother's Day. And then you could stamp the, the tulip images. And then the dies, these are the dies that I've used. So you can create three-dimensional tulips. That's what I've got, leaf. Um, and then the other dies that it comes with is this great border die that you can make a whole roll of, a row of tulips. Um, then you can cut out the stem, the stems. Um, the, this is the larger leaf. And then these tulips um, and a little bit of... Um, I guess it's kind of like grass that would be going up. And then this die, get it off of here. Oh, it's stuck. No, can't get it off um, without making a mess. Uh, it creates just uh, little, little squares, it cuts out little squares. So it's great for adding some texture. All right, let's move these away. I'm going to put that back in there. Lose it. These away. All right, I'll keep these guys out so I can show you what I've already gone ahead and cut out. Now, for my supplies, I have got a piece of petal pink cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and score it at four and a quarter. That's your standard card base, it's a booklet fold. And as always, when I Fold and on my score line. I'm trying to find my bone folder. Hmm. It has disappeared. Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, this is the side I scored on. So I always say fold into the mountain, which is the one that's got the little raised score line on it. So fold in, just gives you a nicer fold. So, okay, give it a good crease with your bone folder. And there you've got your card base. Now I've got a piece of Poppy Parade. I love this combination of Petal Pink and Poppy Parade. Um, this is cut three and seven eighths, excuse me, by five and an eight. And then this piece of designer series paper, isn't this pretty with the tulips? The other side has got kind of clouds and a sky image, but I'm using these bright tulips. Um, is three and three quarters by five. So we can go ahead and adhere the designer series paper onto my piece of Poppy Parade, like that. And then we will adhere this piece to the front of the card. So it's a little bit a little bit of a different size than the normal. I just kind of decided I just wanted a peekaboo of the poppy three. Okay, so there's your the start of the card front. Put that off to the side. All right, so the second piece you need is a piece of basic white cardstock 
that is five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And I've scored it at four and an eight. So this, the largest size is going to be for the inside of the card. And it's going to fit lined up with the edge of the cards. So this, this front flap or this other flap, smaller flap is what's going to fold over and create what is the envelope fold. All right, so it's going to fit like that. That'll be the inside of your card. So we're going to create the envelope shape using these basic border dies. And they're a great set of dies. There's the curve. This is great for, for clouds. Another shape of an envelope or squared off. Um, and then these two chevron and I'm not sure what that shape's called, but another very fancy shape that would uh, create great borders. But we're going to use this one that looks like a point. It is a point. All right, what I'm going to do, grab my ruler and a pencil. So my card, my this piece of basic white cardstock is five and an eighth, or five and a quarter. So you want, so two and a half, uh, let's see, two and a half. So what's half of that? Two and a half. I should have, should have thought about this. Two and a half, I think it's a two and five eighths. Two and five eighths. Uh, yes. Okay. So the measure, the middle of this is two and five eighths. So I'm just going to put a little mark at two and five eighths, and then I'm going to take my my basic border, this die, and put it on. And I'm going to use just a piece. You can use a post-it note. I'm just going to use just a couple of pieces of post-it note tape, getting it. Pretty even to be in the half. If, if you want, if you're really wanting to be exact, you can measure down the same distance and get it exact. But uh, I've just eyeballed it and I'm reasonably happy with that. As long as my point is in the middle of, of the, the long side of the paper. Now I'm going to take this. Actually, let me bring my Stanford Cut and Emboss machine in. And we're just going to take and cut this piece so that you will end up with what looks like the point of an envelope, the flap of an envelope. All right. There we go. Let's put the machine out of the way. And now we can take, I just like to hold it in, in place. The nice thing about these dies too, the other I didn't say is they're all stitched, which is, they're amazing. Save my post-it note tape for when I need it again. Again, you can use post-it notes if you haven't got post-it note tape. All right, so there's the front of my card. So it's going to, as I said, this is going to be the inside. And now we're going to adhere this to the to the inside of the card with the flap to the front. So I need to put adhesive on this back side. You can use whatever your favorite adhesive is. Mine at the moment is is the liquid glue. And I'm just going to, you want it lined up with the edge of your, of the card. Great, like that. There we go. Okay, so we'll press that down. So now this will fold over like that. Somewhere I have one of these handy dandy adhesive. I've got some a little bit of adhesive from my post-it note. We don't sell these anymore. I think you can get them at the dollar store or another craft store. Unfortunately, we don't sell them, but they're great just to get um, little bits of adhesive off. All right, so there is your 
your envelope fold. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, a sentiment here and it's gonna actually hold these closed. Um, but now we're gonna decorate it with some tulips. So I've gone ahead and cut out the tulips and I'll show you how I've, what I've used. And I've gone ahead and done some stamping as well. All right, so there are three main dies for the bodies of the tulip that give you three different shapes. Two, two of them give you kind of larger tulips and then this one gives you a bud. And then there are four shapes that give you the insides of the tulips. So I have gone ahead and cut um, these out. So that one is that one, that one is that one, that one, and then these, these are the four, the four pieces for the insides. And they're really easy to put together because when you cut these out, they have a little score line. So you're just going to take and fold on the score line and voila, you have a tulip. And you can use either side. I'm gonna use the, these, uh, the poppy parade with the polka dot side. And on this one, you're just folding on, there is one score line. So it creates a tulip shape like that. And then this one creates the bud like that. And then these pieces go on the inside. So I'm going to change it up here. This one is going to go in here. Um, this one is going to go in here like this. And I'm going to use some dimensionals. I think I'll use the poppy parade there to um, kind of pop these up a little bit. And on the inside of this one, I actually, I'm just going to use one of, one of these not sure why I have the extra one. Okay, so I've got those. Let's get the dies out of the way so I don't lose those. Okay, now what I do is I like to pop these up a little bit. So I use mini dimensionals and glue dots. Um, mini dimensionals to pop it up um, and then glue dots to close them down. So I'm just going to take and put a couple of the mini dimensionals on each of the inside pieces. You could use regular size dimensionals, that works too. Um, but because I'm going to use mini dimensionals for some of the closings, I think um, I got these out. So that's that. And then one more inside. I just like it when the, the they're three-dimensional, so let's make them look three-dimensional. All right, so this one goes on the inside of... Oh, this one goes on the inside of this piece. So we'll just take and put that on the inside like that, with the dimensionals. And then I'm just going to take a glue dot and close that. Let's do this one. This is the bud. So it's going to go, let's see, get this bud glue in there, I don't know, there we go. That, and then we'll use glue dots to close down, close the bud. And one more. We'll put this in the middle here, like that. And again, I'm going to use a glue dot to close it down. Which my glue dots. There. All right. So let's just take a glue dot and we will just put it right here and press down and close that tulip. And I'm going to probably need two glue dots. Ah, that's my finger. Here we go. Close that one down. And this glue dot not great hidden. There we go. And then for the bud, we will put 
one blue dot here. Who's that? Yeah. Everything's sticking this morning. And then I think I need one over here to close up the side of it. There we go. All right, so I now have two of my tulips made. <clears throat> So if I bring my card back in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my stems on this, this front flap, and then I'll put my tulips on. So I'll open up my card, and let's bring in, I'm using Evening Evergreen to stamp. Probably could have used um, Mossy Meadow, but. I'm actually, I've got the evening evergreen out. So I'm going to stamp three stems. Oh, there. Oh, there. Like that. You could, um, Stamp these on uh, basic white cardstock and cut them out. There is dies to coat the stems, but I'm going to just stamp my stems. And now I am going to use the regular size dimensionals to put my my tulips on. So we'll put this one in the middle. This one over here makes a nice bouquet of tulips. And then we'll put this one oops, like this. There. Okay, so I've got my bouquet of tulips. And then I have gone ahead and cut out a, a leaf. So we will just put one leaf on with a dimensional. You could put more leaves on if you want. Just put one like that. Okay. So that's the front of my card. Uh, I'm going to bring in some of this. This is the uh, window pane check ribbon, and it is white and evening evergreen. So I'm going to just tie a bow. It's really pretty and it's easy to tie bows with. It's nice and soft. So we're just going to tie a fairly small bow. Not too big and overwhelm the, the tulips. There we go. Just cut this. And then I'll use a blue dot on this and I'm going to adhere this to my tulips like that okay now these this is my sentiment i have gone ahead and stamped my sentiment on basic white cardstock using poppy parade and i've cut each out so i've cut my sentiment out using this is the third largest of the layering circle dies and then i've cut an extra piece out, an extra circle. This is a scallop circle. Again, the third largest of the scallop circles. And we're going to just pop this up using dimensionals. This is going to be what is going to hold our envelope front closed. So let's just put, you're just going to get a peekaboo. You can use bigger ones if you want, but I just, again, wanted just a little bit of peekaboo of the poppy parade. And then we will pop this up. Now, we want this to stay closed. So I'm just going to position this just down here in the bottom left so that I can just get my envelope front tucked underneath. And that way, it now stays closed. and will open nicely and then we'll just tuck back down underneath here. Okay, so the last thing I need for the front of my card are some of these great, um, these are the 
brass, I'm going to say this, brass brushed butterflies. They are two different sizes, and we're just going to take and put some on. I'm just going to put them here and one there. And let's put one more. I'll just put them kind of on the front of my cart. There we go. Now I haven't got a stamp to put on the inside and that's okay. I, the inside's finished, which is my always my goal with a card. And I, because it's a thank you card, I will write a nice note in when I give this card away. All right, let's see. So there's, it is when it opens. Oh, actually I cut a piece. I've got one piece of designer series paper that I was gonna put on the inside of the card just to give some decoration. Um, this is cut, uh, let's see. I believe three quarters of an inch by five and a half. And we're just going to just get fancy up the inside of the card just a little bit like that. And glue. Pick this up so I don't drop it with the glue of the Well, just about did. All right, and I'm just going to adhere this. This will line up with the top and bottom. And I'm going to put this right up against the, the edge of the envelope fold. Like that. So you'll see a little bit of it. No. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So now I've got the inside finished. Uh, just a note needs to go in. All right, so there is that tucks underneath. And that is an envelope front fancy fold. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, everyone. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified when I post upcoming videos or when I go live. Again, if you have any questions as you're, as you're watching this video and, or checking out my blog post, um, just leave a comment and I'm happy to respond. Uh, and again, all of the written instructions measurements are on my blog post and the link to that is underneath my video. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Happy stamping. Bye.